Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again, one of my favorite times. Time to take up another champion. I did a thing, guys, I did a thing. Uh, this one is a six star to rank three, okay? So if you think you can guess who I just took up during this last level up, leave a comment below with your guess. Uh, see if you can figure out who I would have taken up. And we're going to have some gameplay uh, at the end of the video as well. So we're about to reveal it. If you want to guess, go now. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Angela. Now, let me tell you a little story about Angela. Uh, I don't think she was my first. I think Rocket Raccoon was my first six star, but I think she was my second six star. Um, second or third, but I believe she was my second. And at the time, she was one of the best to get from that pool. It was a small pool, and I was trying to expand my six star roster. Then I pulled her again, duping her. I was not happy. Not happy at all, because at the time, her duped ability sucked. It just was not useful at all for any content that was in the game at that time. It basically made it more difficult for them to nullify your buffs. Who cared, right? Then they came out with Act 6. And uh, I think it was Act 6. And there was... um, Was it Act 6? There was a... Uh, Symbiote Supreme, who likes to nullify buffs. But the node also was, I believe, buffed up. So you had to have a certain number of buffs. I think it was three uh, in order to do any damage. So he's taken away the buffs that you need in order to do damage to him. And it was a very annoying fight. Many people were crying, crying. But guess what? I finally found a reason for Angela's SIG ability. And so I used her. The video is still on the channel. If you want to search for Angela, uh, you will see that I got a one shot. It was a little lucky, though, because I messed up. But we got the one shot with her at a time where people were using revives on her uh, uh, on a Symbiote Supreme. So later they changed Angela. They reworked her SIG ability. Her SIG ability is quite nice now. And the higher her SIG ability, the less buffs I believe she needs in order to basically be immune to like degen and, and all kind of other uh, debuffs. It's, it's awesome. So the more buffs that she has, the better. Okay. And of course, the buffs themselves are beneficial to her. You already, you know, um, you've probably seen her do a little work. All right. Uh, but anyway, that's why I chose Angela. Uh, she is going to be very useful. I just recently uh, duped her. So her SIG is now 60. And I might, since they've been making six star SIG stones more available, uh, I may go ahead and uh, invest some SIG stones into her. Uh, she doesn't need to be max SIG, but maybe I think, what is it, 100? 130, something like that. I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get on with the gameplay. All right. I got a special treat for you guys. Instead of going into Realm of Legends, we're going to go into Act 8. And there's a path there that was made for Angela. Now, obviously, I've already done it. I've already explored this. And I did it with a rank two Angela. And I wished that I had her ranked up. Uh, let me see. I believe, was it this one? Yeah. All right. So you see that one, Cosmic Grit. Cosmic attackers who reach a total of three Fury, armor up, or precision buffs gain an indefinite aptitude buff. This aptitude buff increases the potency of all future Fury, armor, and precision buffs by 50% each time they gain a Fury, Armor Up, or Precision Buff beyond two. That is crazy, and you're going to see why. 
So let's go ahead down in here. And my six star Odin is in uh, Alliance Quest right now. But this Odin will do. We just need the buffs. And although she doesn't need it, this just helps out and makes her just go faster. All right, so watch how her damage ramps up. So I'm going to get almost to two bars of power. She's already chewing him up, as you can see, because she's gaining those uh, Furies. And he doesn't have that much health. All right, fire off the special one. Gives me a Fury. And got to four Furies. Look at the damage. Insane. Look at her. Just crazy. This path definitely made for her. And we can do that again. Now, uh, Cyclops doesn't have the health pool that Rocket does. So let's see what it looks like. Same thing. We're going to uh, build up to almost special, uh, a special two. Get almost two bars of power. Okay, let's bait that out of him. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so now she's got three Fury. Boom. Look at that. Look at the crits, guys. Look at the crits. Oh, my goodness. All right, messed up there because I, I went to a special two, but crazy. Did you see those crits? Did you see that 75k crit in there? Nuts. Let's see. Make sure I'm still on the right one. Man. She is just a beast. And on this path, especially, it's just made for her. So we're going to do the same thing. Now, this guy has a lot of armor, right? See how he handles her. So there we go. She's got one bar of power, so she gets her fury. There, she's got two furies now. Okay, here we go. There's three. Boom, there's four. Woo! Even with all that armor. Uh, he's trying to wear it, let it go down, but that's okay. Still chewing him up. 40k crits. Come on. There we go. Fire it off. And I'm running suicides, by the way. And you'll notice that I'm firing off specials like crazy. And she doesn't seem to mind. Yeah. When I rank up champions, they're usually friendly to suicides usually not always but she is suicide friendly as you can see and i love this he goes debuff immune but she doesn't rely on debuffs so she's great for fighting this guy okay come on come on Give it up. Give it up. Come on. Give it up. There we go. All right. These four Furies be hitting hard. See his health just starting to disappear. Nasty. Just nasty. Angela just chewing up. And this is Act 8. 
Let's do uh I think I think a couple more fights. Just cause it's fun. Nimrod, let's see what you got. Wow, didn't let me move. Okay, that's well, all right. Time we just stepped there and blocked it. Okay, three Furies. Mm. Y'all see them 20K crits? Okay, now he wants to run the timer out. Tried to catch me. Mm. Still chewing him up. Ah, right. let me move that time. Whew. She dashed back for some reason. When I'm trying to pour on the damage. Ooh, he was unblockable right there. Uh oh. Unstoppable. In every way. Ha! Caught you coming in. Oh. Coming for you. She's coming for you. Ooh, look at the red damage, y'all. Don't just look at the yellow numbers. Mm. And that was Nimrod. He had decent armor. She ain't care. All right, I think that's the last person on the path anyway. Let's go, a Big Daddy Apocto. Come on, come on. Should have put on Do Not Disturb. Yeah, buddy. Woo, there it was the critties. Look at them critties. Oh, yeah. And the red numbers. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. There you go. Oh yeah, step into it. Let's go, let's go. Come here. Angela got something to tell you. We want to tell you to go to sleep. All right, guys. That's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed this showcase of Angela. That was Act 8.1, First Quest. And that path made for Angela. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.